Do you want to learn how to grow rice more sustainably? Attend a Kana meeting with extension officers in your area to select the best rice variety and create a crop calendar for the season. Extension officers will show you how to use water more efficiently and appoint a water controller. Farmers lose approximately 10 to 20% of their rice harvests due to pests and diseases every year. To prevent this, use seeds of the most adapted rice varieties for the area and season. Available at the One Stop Super. The Rice Research and Development Institute recommends these varieties for the Maha season. The Rice Research and Development Institute recommends these varieties for the Yala season. After land preparation, request laser leveling through your extension officer to improve water efficiency and yield in your field. Next, form buns and plaster to hold water for every season. Make sure a field water tube is placed in the field to monitor the water level. You can save water for this season and next if you plant at the beginning of the rainy Macha season, the second week of October instead of the fourth week. Instead of broadcasting that uses up to 100 kilograms per hectare of seeds, use improved rice planting methods. Compared to broadcasting, parachuting and line seeding reduces seed requirements by 75%. Transplanting allows 12.5% higher yields than broadcasting and saves money. If you can establish a nursery, use the parachute method or transplanting machines. After 12 to 18 days, parachute plantlets in the field. Trays can be reused for four seasons. If your plot is at least 0.2 hectares, you can request a motorized transplanting service from the One Stop Super. If you don't have time to establish and protect a nursery, you can rent a line seeder, drum seeder for direct seeding. Manage weeds for the first 30 days. For rice transplanted with a motorized paddy transplanter, use a motorized paddy weeder. For rye seeded with a drum seeder, use a manual Kono weeder to control weeds in between rows. For advice on other weed management practices, ask experts at your local crop clinic. Irrigate the field to 5 centimeters above the surface level and allow the field to drain until water level goes below 15 centimeters. This will take around 7 to 10 days depending on the soil type. Irrigate when the water is 15 centimeters below the surface level and when you see weeds. One week after flowering, irrigate when the water level is 15 centimeters below the surface level and when you see weeds. Two weeks after flowering, maintain the water level 0 to 5 centimeters above the surface level. Two weeks before harvesting, allow fields to drain gradually. A 3.5 month variety that has the right moisture level of 20 to 25 percent is ready for harvest at week 12. At the One Stop Super, you can receive three services for grain moisture measurements that reduce shuttering and grain damages. After harvest, keep straw on your field. It is important to dry paddy before storing. Mobile paddy drying is an efficient and economical way to dry paddy. Find out more about FAO's approach to climate-smart crop production.